Welcome everyone to the Sunday Staff Debrief, where every week we chat about various diving topics. I'm your host, Nicole, and as always, joined by our panel, Juicy and Rich. And this week, our very special guest is not only a Patty Dive Master, a mother of two, but she is UDC's very own general manager, Kati Garcia. Welcome, Kati. Yeah, Kati. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. I'm happy to be with all of you tonight. It's so great to have you here. So tell us about yourself and your extraordinary journey to becoming general manager of one of the biggest dive shops in the world. Okay, so let's make a long story, a short story. My mom brought me here when I was six years old. I'm Honduran. Uh, she brought me, we were in Tela, like I'm original from, from Tela. She brought me here when I was six years old. And then she is and she was uh, the housekeeping of the Mango Inn Hotel. Then when I was like 17 years old, I started helping her at the Mango Inn. Then there was like, uh, spots available to work at the Mango Inn as a housekeeper, so I started working there with her. Then after, like, in the 2017, there was a spot available at the reception at the Mango Inn, so my mom said, why you don't get your, put your CV there? And I said, no, mom, I can't do it. I can't speak a perfect English, and I was afraid of it. And then she insists, and she insists, and then said, okay, that's fine, I'm going to put it. And then Andrea was the manager at the Mango Inn Hotel, so she made the interview for me and she uh, gave me the job. And after one year of working at the reception, Manny asked me if I wanted to come to UDC. And I said, mm, yes, why not? Let's try something new. And then um, I start as Manny's assistant, as a administrative manager. And shortly after you were like, I want to go back to the Mango Inn. I love the Mango Inn. Yes. And we said, no, no, <laughs> it's no. because I spent my whole time since I was six, seven years old, I spent my whole time like that was Mango Inn Hotel was my second home. Mm -hmm. So I spent my whole time there. I love that place. I still love that place. It's part of my life. And then I always wanted to go back there when I started working here at UDC. And then after that, like after COVID, I think it was, then you guys gave me the opportunity to be um, like office manager. And then I think at months after or this year was, I you guys gave me the opportunity to become the UDC general manager, which is uh, challenging. And I say at the beginning, no, I can't do it. Like every time they give me a new opportunity, I say, um, no, I can't do it. But then I am here uh, trying to do my best every single day. Amazing. And it's paying off. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Say, Thank you. I'd say this has been a reoccurring theme with each one of Kati's promotions over the years <laughs> that I've witnessed is every time we say, Kati, you can do this. And she says, eh, I'm not so sure I'm the right person for the job. I don't know if I can do that. And every time she's proven us right by knocking it out of the park and just doing such a fantastic job with every task that we've asked her to do. So hats off to Kati. She's an incredible, integral part of UDC's operations. Of course. And Juicy, I've heard you say over and over again how much you just love Kati and what she does for UDC. What exactly impresses you the most by her? Um, Kati's journey is super impressive to me. She's, she's conquered every challenge that we've ever given to her, um, all while being a mom and juggling other things that are well beyond my, uh, my wheelhouse of capabilities. So she comes to work every day. She has a smile on her face. She's fantastic at customer service. Um, and just watching her grow and develop over the years and working um, side by side with her to run such a great company and to work together, we get along really well. Um, I like to think we're friends. She offers me a lot of personal advice from time to time in in day-to-day -day life and so it's just a, an absolute pleasure to work with Kati all the time and rich you must work with her on a daily basis what is it like to work with Kati working with Kati is a pleasure she she always has a smile on her face and no matter what problem you have she has the time for you to to help you out uh, and all of us try to do the same for her um, she works fewer hours than I do um, she has a way more stressful job than I do. She also has uh, three kids and she's just completed a dive master. Honestly, Katty, how the f do you do it? I'm a Wonder Woman. <laughs> and there's no doubt about that. Yes, you are. All will agree. <laughs> 
So Kati, what do you love most about your job here at UDC? I mean, I will say everything, but every day there is a new challenge, new things to learn. And I will say that always, every single day, I learn something new, like it can be paddy standards, it can be something from accounting, it can be something about paperwork. So it's always something new that I learn. And sometimes I get challenged, like problems that I have to solve, but I have a very great team like that supports me. So I'm so happy that I have that team because if it wasn't because of you guys, I can go and ask you, Juicy or Rich, how can I do this? If there is something new that I don't know, then I learn from them. So that's what I, I really, really love of my job. Always learning new things, always challenging my, myself. Yeah. So it's always great. Mm -hmm. That's always great. And are there anything, any special events that you like to plan? Yes. Um, when I start working at um, UDC, I started the Christmas um, gift, like getting a lot of things to donate, mm -hmm. getting people involved in donating things for, for people in need. Mm -hmm. So that was in 2018, the first time. And then we had a, we got a lot of things donated from people from like from other countries. I posted on uh, this is UDC and then it was people donating. So it was great to uh, make that happen. And that's the, mo the thing that I love the most. Like every single year I'm waiting for October to come because then is when I start or November to start when that's when uh, we start doing that. So it's really great to do that and help people that need. And always UDC is always um, in for donating. So that's the most things that I love working here. Giving back to your community. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So Rich, Kati just mentioned her favorite part of the community involvement that UDC does. What is your favorite? Um, I love that we get involved in the community and we have done, um, certainly since I've been here, to get a much more active role since COVID. Um, the island suffered a bit at times. Uh, my personal favorite is we hosted a, um, a charity football match with our friends next door. Um, and we, yeah, we put it on for, for a former employee who, who'd fallen on some hard times. Um, and we raised close on a thousand dollars. It was a huge, huge night. There were 50 to hundred people watching some particularly unfit, untalented people play, <laughs> try and play football. Uh, and we all had a, an absolutely fantastic time. And then we donated all the money to, to, to him. And it, yeah, it, it was, it was phenomenal. It was the first time I think I really saw us getting like fully involved in doing something for, for another a person and it was a, it was it was a wonderful thing to see yeah it was it was a really fun night i got to photograph that so <laughs> um and juicy what other types of community charity work does udc do i think over the years udc has done a lot of different things there's there's always small things you can do from time to time things pop up where you know um someone becomes um, sick or even worse terminally sick um, someone's house burns down, there's been a natural disaster where, where people are in need and UDC always tries to chip in when we can. We have a lot of people coming here from different countries that have resources and, and can spread the word and get donations and things like that. So just kind of the teamwork, um, family aspect of, of there's someone in the community that's, or some group of people in the community that needs something. Let's work together to try to help them in any way that we can. Um, I think our marine um, and environmental um, outreach projects are well documented but some of the things that are less known is the, some of the things we do in the community and that means a lot to a lot of us because I think uh, most people that live in Utila would say that the, the most special part of the community is the people. So doing that means a lot and it really makes you feel good at the end of the day. Absolutely. So Kati, you just recently completed your Patty Dive Master here at UDC while running the shop, while being a mother of two making you essentially the dive master of the decade. How did you balance everything? Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm a Wonder Woman. <laughs> no, seriously, it was, it was not hard. I won, I will be honest, it wasn't that hard. Um, I was at the beginning afraid of not having a good balance between my work being with my girls and then having to work and having to finish my Dime Master. But I had a, a great um, team of the Dime Master mentors. They helped me a lot. Um, and also from these guys, they, I 
every time I had a question about how to balance this or how to manage this, they were always there for me. Um, there was sometimes that I did my things in the morning, my dye master things in the morning, and then I work a couple of hours in the afternoon, and then I went home and then back to work for a few more hours. But it was, it was fine. So it, to be honest, it wasn't that, that bad. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Kathy, what was your favorite part of the dive master program? Uh, I will say my assistant in open water course. That was because I saw one of the students having the same problem that I had when I started my open water course. Um, when I started my open water course, I was panicking with the mask skill. So this girl had the same problem, so I was seeing myself in her. And the great thing about this is that she was asking me for help. So that, was, that felt so great because I was a pro, I would say, already. And I could help her. Um, I was, she asked me to show her again, like the skill. And she was from Brazil, so she was having like issues with the language. So she asked me to translate everything to Spanish and to demonstrate the skills. So I did it for, the, for her and she was very grateful at the end. And also all the students were very grateful at the end, like um, they were grateful for my help. So that was my favorite part. And I feel now that that's why the DMTs that comes here, after they do their DM, they decide to do their instructor because they feel that vibe, like about teaching people to breathe underwater. So that feels very nice. Yeah, we hear that often from a lot of the dive master candidates that go on to be IDC candidates is one of the things that really made them decide to go from dive master to instructor was that whole relationship they had with people when they were assisting on courses and certainly new divers. Everyone relates, like like Kati said, to, to the nerves and the, the fears that we have when we start diving. I was exactly the same way. Um, so being able to help other people overcome those things is fantastic. I remember the favorite part of Kati's dive master for me was one of the things we got to work on together was the, the skill circuit. So demonstrating skills, slow and exaggerated making it look easy and Kati being the perfectionist that she was was like I didn't do a good enough job on the first one we need to practice again before the next time we have to do it one-on-one -on -one, I need to do better and she did absolutely fine just like you know it, along the lines of what everyone else does on their first skill circuit but you being you were like nope I need more practice I need to do better I'm not good enough I have to be perfect and certainly we, we did a skill circuit we had a lot of fun and uh, fine-tuned some things we even got some good selfies that day I think pictures of us on the dock <laughs> I think I, I remember Cathy during her dive master, I think I was teaching at the time, I didn't, I didn't get the chance to work with her in the water, uh, but she would come and ask questions all the time, like, what should I do in this situation? What should I do about this? And there were such insightful questions. Like, obviously, she's, she's been around the shop for a long time. She's heard me, Nico, and Juicy talking all the time, and all the other mentors as well. So she, she understands what's going on and asking all these really insightful questions that really sort of progressed her to where the point where she was a very, very strong dive master, dive master candidate and hopefully you know, ID, IDC soon enough. So you, do you both think she's ready oh, yeah. for her IDC? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing can stop her. <laughs> and what about you, Kati? What are your future goals? Um, I will say instructor. Yeah, that will be my next goal. I just need to practice more. I just want to be ready ready like I feel I am ready uh, to go to the next uh, level and then of course MSCT and then <laughs> be able to teach I would love to teach in Spanish of course that's my first language uh, and I would love to introduce people to um, into the diving mm -hmm. yeah absolutely and as far as any advice you have especially for young girls in your home country of Honduras, what advice do you have to them? Like I said at the beginning, I, every time I got a new title or a new role in here, I was always afraid of, of it and say, I know I can do it. So I will say, you can do anything you want. Mo women can do anything we want. Um, there's nothing that can stop us. Keep uh, dreaming, keep working hard life at some point will reward you yeah beautiful well said mm -hmm. thank you everyone for joining this week's episode of the sunday staff debrief and thank you as always to our panel and a very special thank you this week to kati and
and make sure you join us next week for another really interesting topic. And as always, help us grow our channel by... Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment below. See you all next week.